Hey girls, it's me, obviously. Um, I wanted to do a quick video, and actually I don't know how quick it's going to be. I'm just going to babble, and we'll see how long that takes. But I wanted to talk about why we are still pre-TTC and kind of what's going on. And um, also some different things that I've been thinking about lately. And um, yeah, I just I feel like I have a lot on my mind, and I don't want to keep spewing it out at my husband. And, um, so I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but it's been kind of hard to figure out how to put everything that I'm thinking into words, but I'm going to give it a shot. So basically in a video a few months back, I had mentioned that my husband and I had set February as the date to start trying to conceive, but that's not happening. Basically we're waiting on my husband to get a promotion at work. He still has not gotten it. Um, there's been some different factors. The person that was supposed to retire is not going to retire. And, um, that's, and my husband would have basically been promoted to his job. So that's not happening. Um, there are a few different things that could possibly happen and fall into place, which would let my husband get his promotion, but we're basically just waiting on that. So there's no guarantee. Um, and... It's one of those things where we're not going to know if he's getting promoted until it happens. So that kind of sucks because I feel like we're just in this waiting game and we're just kind of stuck, um, which has been kind of annoying to me and aggravating to me. But at the same time, I kind of am glad that we're not actively TCCing yet. And I'm having all of these conflicting feelings and thoughts and they're really driving me crazy because of course I want us to start a family. Um, I just turned 24. My husband will be 25 in June. I feel like it's a great time to start trying for our first child. We both want more than one, um, probably three or four. And I don't want to be one of those moms that, you know, has kids at a later age, um, both of our parents were much older when they had us. Um, and I just remember when I was growing up that my mom was just so much older than all the other moms and she didn't have the energy to want to, you know, do as many things with me. And, um, I just, you know, I don't know. I just, I'd never wanted to wait that long to have children. And so part of me is like, okay, the clock's ticking. I really want to get started with this. And another part of me is thinking, what's the rush? And um, a lot of what got me thinking about this has been babysitting lately. Um, I have been babysitting my husband's four-year-old cousin. I have also been babysitting my dentist's children. They have a five-year-old little girl and a two-year-old little boy. And this past weekend, I went and stayed overnight for a three-day weekend while their parents were um, out of town. And so I had like a little mini, you know, trial run, basically, of watching this five-year-old and this two-year-old for three days. And, um, oh my god, it was exhausting. They were quite the handful. They're really great kids, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's a job in itself to take care of a five-year-old and a two-year-old. And I remember thinking when I was there, oh my God, I'm not ready for this. And, you know, it's, it's, it's so funny because when you're in the situation and you're taking care of children, it's not going to be all wonderful and sweet and cute and, you know, they're going to cry, they're going to scream, they're going to throw tantrums. There's going to be, you know, disgusting messes to change. Uh, the grossest diapers I've ever had to change in my life, by the way. And, you know, it's not all cute. And when you are just kind of stepped back from it, you're not taking care of someone's kids. You just, you know, you see a cute commercial with a cute kid and a baby and you just think of all the cute things and it just seems so wonderful. But there's, of course, you know, the whole other side of it. So, I don't know. It's, it's just like, I know that it's going to be challenging and difficult to have children, um, and it's, you know, I, I don't even know if any of this is making sense, because I feel like in my head, there's one side of my head that's like, babies, babies, 
and the other side is like, oh my god, wait a while. And it's driving me crazy because, you know, if we're out somewhere and we see a cute baby, I'm like, honey, I want a baby, And then, you know, I'm taking care of these two kids, and they're screaming, crying, and throwing fits, and I'm like, oh my god, I do not want a baby. So, it's just, it's like crazy. Um... Another thing that I've been thinking about along those lines is, um, you know, since I have been out of work and I've been a housewife, um, I've loved the freedom. I can go to bed whenever I want. I can wake up whenever I want. I can do whatever I want during the day. I, you know, I love that. And part of me is like, you know, when I have a baby, I'm not going to be able to do that, obviously. And... Excuse me. Um, I just, I don't know if I'm ready to give up that freedom. And I don't know if anyone's ever really 100% ready to have a child when they do. Because there's always things that you're going to have to be giving up, obviously. And I don't know. It's just, it's like I feel so conflicted. And so I guess it's good that we aren't actively trying to conceive because I have time to really make sure that we're ready and make sure that this is something that, you know, we're both ready for, that we both want. I mean, it's obviously something that we want, but it's, it's scary, which is another thing that I wanted to talk about is just how, how scared I am. And, um, I feel like no one ever talks about that factor of it and that is just exciting and everyone really you know wants to get pregnant and wants a baby but I mean maybe I'm the only one but I'm like terrified um that's you know having a child is the one thing in your life that you can't take back that's the one thing that that it's a decision that you make that's you know life-changing um you know I mean you can move to a different place you can change your job, you can, you know, all those things you can change, but once you have a child, that's it for life. You're a parent, which is wonderful, but it's still scary. It's a huge deal, and um, part of me feels like I'm still, you know, becoming an adult, and I I don't know if I'll really 100% feel like an adult until I am a parent myself. But it's just, it's scary. And I'm also scared of being pregnant. I'm scared of giving birth. Oh my God, terrified of it. Um, scared of having a newborn baby and not knowing what to do with it. And being, you know, the new mother that's just got the crying baby and has no idea what to do or how to make it stop crying and feel better and happy. And, you know, I'm I'm scared of all these different things, and, you know, people say that having a baby puts a strain on a marriage, and I'm hoping that that would never happen with my husband and I. We are best friends. We have a fantastic, amazing relationship, and I could only imagine a baby making that better, but, you know, you hear horror stories about people that have children and and they get so absorbed in their children that they lose sight of their marriage and their love for each other and things just get stressful and it's just scary. You know, it's, it's, once you start that decision of trying to conceive, it's just something that's going to change your life forever. And I just am scared. And so, I don't know, I, I just, I feel like I'm not making a lot of sense or I'm not expressing myself the way I went, way I want to. But, um, I just feel like I need to talk about this with somebody. I, of course, talk about this with my husband, but I feel like he gets a little bit, um, not annoyed, but, you know, I mean, it's, you guys know what I mean. Guys, men think of things differently. Um, and I think that he gets a little bit, I don't know, sick of hearing me talk about baby stuff all the time. (laughs) So, um, I don't know. It's just, um, hold on a second though, because my webcam only gives me 10 minute slots and my time is counting down. So one second. 
Okay, I'm back. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm really ugh, saying everything that I want to, but um, basically I'm just, you know, having all these conflicting feelings and I one day want to, you know, get pregnant right away and I'm so excited. And the next day I'm like, oh my gosh, that's terrifying. So, I don't know. I, I guess another thing that's made me think about this recently is that this has been the first cycle where um, I have really seen my thermal shift um, on Fertility Friend. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and so it's been the first cycle that I've really known when I ovulated, how many DPO I was, um, and we did baby dance two days before I ovulated. So, I mean, there was a slight, tiny sliver of a chance that I was pregnant. Meh. You know? And so it was something that I really had to start thinking about because all the other cycles, there was no chance. I mean, we did not baby dance anywhere near ovulation time. I wasn't even sure of ovulation time because my charts were all weird. And um, this was really the first cycle that it was possible. And I took some pregnancy tests. They were all negative, 100% negative. Um, I'm 13 DPO today. I took one yesterday, a 12 DPO, totally negative. I'm not having any symptoms. I don't feel pregnant at all. So I'm confident that I'm not pregnant, but, um, I was, you know, something I had to think about because every time I took a pregnancy test, I'm like, okay, what am I going to do if this is positive? And it was just a scary thought. And, um, you know, I don't know, I guess I'm just, <sighs> I don't know, I feel like I'm alone in, in that being scared uh, part of it all, because I feel like watching all of you ladies, that you're all so 100% ready, and um, I just, I feel like I'm not sure if I am or not, and um, it, I don't know, it just, it like freaks me out, the whole thought of what would happen if I got pregnant right now. Um, it's exciting. It's something that I would definitely be happy about, but it's still scary. So I don't know. I feel like I'm just blabbing and I feel like my voice sounds horrible. So again, sorry for that, but, um, I don't know if you guys feel in the same way that I do about any of this, please tell me because I feel alone and, um, I don't know. I feel stupid because I feel like all these things are so dumb to be worried about because I do want kids. I do want to start a family like pretty soon. And, um, I feel like it's probably something that everybody thinks about and worries about at one point, but I don't know. I just feel like I don't have anybody to talk to about it. So, if you guys relate at all, please tell me, and um, I'm hoping that once Mike does get his promotion, which I know he will at some point, um, it's just a matter of when, but I'm hoping that once he does get his promotion, that that'll kind of, you know, get rid of some of my fears about all of this, because then if we did get pregnant, it would be okay financially. And I think right now that's one of my big things, but I don't know. Is anyone else, like, terrified of being pregnant and having all of the horrible symptoms that you hear about just being, like, every time I'm nauseous, whether I have the flu or I'm hungover or whatever, I'm like, oh my god, this, this is going to be horrible to be pregnant and be nauseous like this for three months. Is anyone else terrified of that? Because I feel like no one else is. And, um, I feel so alone. Like, I think part of it too is that my mom has always told me that when she was pregnant with me, it was awful. She was sick the whole time and, um, it's just awful. She said she hated being pregnant with me. And so I'm worried that that's going to be the same for me, that I'm going to just hate being pregnant and be sick the whole time. And, um, and I'm terrified of labor. I'm terrified of pushing a baby out of my hoo-ha. 
Is anyone else scared of that? Because I feel like no one else is. And then it's just something that, you know, I mean, obviously it's something that every woman that has children has to do, you know, more or less. But it just scares me. Like, I'm terrified of that. Like, I am, I am more scared of pregnancy and labor than I am of actually, like, bringing home the baby and having, like, taking care of a baby. Like, seriously, like, that scares me more. And I feel so dumb saying this, but hopefully you guys understand and hopefully somebody shares this with me and I'm not um, alone. So, yeah. Um, hang on one second because I made notes about what I want to talk about and I think, okay, I just read them. That was, that was it, that I, all that I want to talk about. Um, I need my bangs trimmed, by the way, because look at them. They're so long. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. Um, that I'm scared, worried, also at the same time, really excited. And, um, you know, every time I see a cute baby, I'm like, oh, I want a baby right now. <sighs> so I feel conflicted. I feel really, um, I don't know, like, I'm going back and forth all the time about it. And, um, I don't know. It's, it's just all these thoughts I'm having, and I'm going crazy, and this video is getting really long, and I feel like I'm just repeating myself. So, if you are one of the people that has made it this far into my video and listened to my blab for this long, I love you, and thank you for listening to me, and I hope that some of you will share your thoughts with me on this and your feelings and um okay I'm done I love you all okay bye